Hello there YouTube, today I'm going to give uh, do a tuto tutorial on how to set up and make a login area for your your application. Uh, if you have if you don't understand Visual Basic uh, and Visual Studios or Visual uh, Express please check out my original video, uh, my first video. Um, so first of all we're going to need to make a new project or continue off the project that you're doing yourself uh, and I'm going to call this YouTube login uh, this is a basic application so it won't be connecting to a server I can do that on request if anyone wants it then I'll whack one out for you um, now first of all what we need to do is we need two labels two labels and two text inputs text boxes uh, I'm pretty sure that you can actually control yeah control and drag and it'll make a new one Right, now what we need to do is we're going to straighten these up a little bit. Right. Make it look a little bit more like a actual login. So we're going to have a quit, an exit button, and a... Do you want, that's annoying, that is. Double click it if you can't see your view, and it should, yeah, give you a button. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to have one button there and one button there. Right, so the first button we're going to call this down at the text in properties. We're going to call it login. And the next one we're going to call it uh, quit. Uh, also, we're going to change the button name uh, for the code, which is there, where it says button 2. We're going to call that uh, quit button. And this one's going to be called login button. Uh, we're going to label the labels as you do. We're going to label the right. This is the name for the label. That doesn't really matter. But we're going to call this user and change the text, which is brilliant. Now I can't find it. Change the. There we go the text of the label because we can actually drag this up so we can see more of the properties yeah that's a bit better we're going to change the text of the label to username and some uh, colon I think that is and then the other one to password and we're going to click on each text box we're going to call text box 1 which is the username 1 we're going to call it uh, user text and the password 1 we're going to call it pass text pass text there we go uh, we're going to make another um, uh, add, add a new form and we're going to create a new one and we're going to call this one we're going to call this one uh, good so that, well, if they log in they've logged in uh, and then we're going to put a label in here just for demonstration purposes and we're going to call this one 
uh, uh, welcome welcome back or something like that just to give you an idea and what we're going to do now is double click our quit button let's get the quit button out of the way and what we're going to do is if you want to actually quit the application you always have to make sure that it's um, the form one or whatever the first form that loads is the one that has to be closed so it would be me dot close if I'm typing on the same form uh, so if I go on to the good one uh, if we put uh, we put a button on there something like that called log out and quit so we're going to put that and call it log out and quit. There we go. Oh, it didn't like the ah right. Oh, it doesn't like the and sign. Right, okay, let's just put log out. Quit. There we go. Right now we've done that. This one uh, on a different form. To close the application, we have to go uh, form one dot close. Now that will close the entire application because it's form one, which was the one that launched first. So our logout buttons, our quit button, and our logout button is now complete. So now we need to get. Uh, people to be able to log in and get to the the good page. So what we need to do is we double click login. Now we need to put if statements in. So we need to go if uh, user dot text dot text equals you. Tube. Uh, make sure you bracket that. Speech marks it. Oh. Bugger now. Ah, okay. Equals YouTube. Sorry about that pain. And Pass dot text text equals um, open now then uh, good dot show and then we're gonna um, me dot hide there we go so what this is gonna do now is it's gonna check the password username and password there and if they're correct then it's gonna show good and then hide me and then we're gonna put else uh, message box uh, uh, sorry Un unknown yeah unknown user name and pass word there we go 
uh, if you want others in here we can uh, just type another one out so we'll just put there so we can go oh. else if user name dot text text equals you no fizzy and pass word dot text text equals um, test then good dot show me dot hide I'll space that out. there we go right so now what we've got we've got two usernames um, now if you want any more usernames obviously you can just it, it keep adding more uh, you can also make them go to certain uh, different pages so like for instance, YouTube can go to the good page, and I could go to a different page. All you have to do is just change the good to whatever page that you're wanting them to go to. So what we're going to do is test this out. So if we press start, and wait for it to load up. There we go. We got our YouTube buttons. And um, we're going to do fizzy and uh, no login. Sorry, unknown. Oh, I've missed the end on this. Unknown. Unknown username and password. Okay. Quit. Quit works. Right, so if I put unknown. Put, right, there we go. And then press play again. And then we go busy with the right password, which is test login. It show hides the login form and logs us in. And then you just click quit, and it quit the application. Um, obviously, you can do many more with this. Um, uh, I hope this helps you out a lot. Um, if you've got any queries or questions just let me know please comment rate and subscribe and uh, thank you ever so much for watching uh, goodbye